Matapos ang mga naging laban sa Japan, nang hapon na si Hiroshi Matsumoto, napadayo naman ito ng Pinas taong dalawang libo at siyam upang kalabanin ng Pinoy na mula pa ng binangonan rasal na si Denver Cuello. Nasa laban ito ay hindi na bago sa Japanese boxer ang lumaban sa mga Pinoy sapagkat may tatlong Pinoy na itong mga tinalo na si Alan Lanita, Jojo Billones, at Julius Alcos ng Dabaw kaya naman isang magandang laban din ito para kay Quelio upang maibawi din ang ating mga Pinoy dito din ay kanilang pag-aagawan ang bakanting WBC International Minimum Weight Title sa unang round naging mainit na agad ang kanilang palitan Kimoto in the white with the black trim both fighters left handed both come out firing jabs Quail with a strange aberration in his uh, record. Five draws, which is so rare to see that many already in a fighter's career. Well, they're not wasting any time. They're coming out right in the center and throwing. Already, Al. And, and, and Mesimoto was staggered a little bit and checked his footing, and he's getting hammered. As Quail's just unloading that left hand. An action-packed first round. And when you have two lefties who are not typically boxer types they make for an action fight like this well, quail throwing right hooks <laughs> straight left they're not exactly trying to set the tone with their jab al coming out here in the no, first round they're just going head hunting right from the start and photos like we got time to talk to his corner <laughs> they are wailing away <laughs> he's just turned around and speaking to his corner right in the middle of the action there a minute into the fight hey keep them up keep them up that's Moro having so much trouble with his balance. Yes, he is. And it could be because of the punches he's catching. You now he's trying to dig into the body. Crowd loving the action here. Mistake. When he throws the right hook to the body, he's leaving that right very low and he's open for counter punches. The straight left, and there it landed again by Quayle. And he's leading, uh, Matsumoto's also leading with his head there as he leaves himself off balance and then he hits on the break. Just gets a warning from De Blanco. Action pack first round. Well, absolutely. They're trading right hooks, and you know the problem is I think Matsumoto is not as powerful as Quayos, and that's a dangerous thing for Matsumoto. They've got a cut eye of Matsumoto right now. He took a kidney oh. shot, and then back of the head, and they're going to send him to the corner as they take a look at the cut. Don't know if that came from a clash of heads or a punch. It's very hard to tell. We've had eventful first rounds here already uh, this morning and this evening where many of you are watching. Punch. Punch. Well, he, he looked like he was in trouble on the rope cell right there. And, and got uh, turned around sideways. They're, they're ruling it was okay. from a punch. punch. Okay, neutral. Punch. Well, we'll take a look at it a little bit later. I, I, I tend to think it was. I saw Quayle go to, now there's a cut on the top of Quayle's head, so maybe it was I, I, a headbutt because he's cut too on the top of his head right there over his left temple. Yeah, they may have. Uh, that furious action. There was a lot of action. That's a very bad cut. Now, if it is ruled a clash of heads and the fight has to be stopped before four rounds, it would be a no decision. Right. And one thing he pointed out was his balance. He just caught a big left right there and a right hand, too. So, Quayle, at this point, realizing with the cuts. 22 year old Quayle believes he's the next star in the Filipino uh, world in this minimum weight or possibly flyweight junior flyweight category where they have many good fighters and he has shown a lot here in round one. Undefeated in his last 10 fights and now it's become a, a lot of blood for Cuello's head as we end round one. No, no I, heads that came together in that. Now area. we got a wrestling match. Third down and six. Yeah. A little MMA broke out there. I think we had a, a knee to the chest. <laughs> so as best as we can determine, they have not said that that came from a clash of heads. So that would mean if this fight were stopped because of that cut, Matsumoto would lose the fight. That's just that would be my speculation. And I thought I saw it indicated a punch, but the only thing that threw me off was the cut on the top of the head of Cueo. Right, I mean, thinking that might have been the clash, but I didn't see that angle, and you didn't no. either on the on the replay. We are in the second round. 
uh, the pace continues. There's been a punch right to the ribs that Cueto snuck in there that's really thrown Matsumoto off balance as if he had any balance. And he's, <laughs> he just caught, caught with a right hand coming in. ...weapon as well. And that cut is not Soto, so it's a big factor early in this fight. Matsumoto probably can't see that left hand coming at this point. The blood is really profusely, but they don't really affect you unless they get in your eye and the blood gets in your eye. But the one that Matsumoto has is definitely going to be a problem, and quickly. Right on the, it's right on the eyelid. And uh, it's bleeding a little bit less than it was earlier. And Matsumoto started to land his own jab occasionally anyway. But Matsumoto does not really set up his power punches with the jab. He wings his power punches and that leaves him open. He's really struggling with the eye right now, rubbing with his gloves. And you mentioned the jab. Coelho has, has came out in this round and throwing, doubling up on the jab to set up what he hopes will be the finishing punch that left of the top right there. You know, but he's got a good quick jab, Coelho yeah. does. I'm impressed struggling to tighten up his punches to throw straighter punches when he does Dude. it's very effective like that, that straight one. left hand that he just threw well the one thing you could say that you already figured out about Matsumoto is that he's a pure fighter but very aggressive and obviously makes very action-packed fights because he is always coming forward seconds left in round two scheduled for 12 Right. It'd, it'd be a, a, a miracle if it went that far. <laughs> yeah, that would <laughs> With be all the damage, so. the damage that's been done so far. And well, really missing over the top, just trying to load up that left hand. And, and, and of course, they're aware of that fourth round and, and, and not wanting to go to the scorecard. Well, but in this case, though. But it, but, but it would be Quayle's victory. I believe he's won the first two rounds pretty handily. Final seconds, round two. As Quayle digs into the chest. Punch right at Motos in the white trunks. Quayle in the green, white, and red. Now Matsumoto actually trying to work a little bit of a jab in there and keep his head away a little bit there, Al. Other than that, to see if they slow down. They usually don't at this weight ever slow down. He lost the technical decision, but Matsumoto has not been stopped in his pro career, so it's intriguing. Uppercut and right hand for Cueho, followed by a left. And if that doesn't stop him, <laughs> those were three. You were talking about more accurate, sharp punches, but Cueho just got on the inside, but not as effective. The power, obviously, Matsumoto doesn't have as much. It speaks to the among his, uh, his victories, so he's not a monstrous knockout puncher, uh, but Matsumoto is taking his best shot. He's gonna, which you will see when you get in these type of battles, these type of wars, uh, street wars, more or less. Round three, there's the punch I'm talking about. Uh, down in the ribs right there. Good left hand downstairs. He's, yeah. right He's winning the battle of the right hooks. It's a fun fight though. Both men, a lot of activity, a lot of action. <laughs> the crowd reacting every time Quayle throws that left. Card filled with these minimum and flyweight or junior flyweight fights. And if they're actually down to oh, a knee. That's a, that's a knockdown. That's a knockdown. He's going to get a count. That's a moto taking the count. There we go. First knockdown of the fight. Quayle comes straight across, tries to bore into the body. It was that right hook from Quayle that did the damage. It's attrition now. None of that. Linde Puentes. That was a that was a warning for hitting Matsumoto when he was down. Which Cueto oh, up. uppercut! Another uppercut from Quayle. Then he throws him down and across the ring they roll, and the crowd reacts. <laughs> a two-point takedown, Al. <laughs> You know, uh, they got to put some headgear on if this keeps up. That was interesting. And that was dangerous because both men could have been injured with that, but Quayle kind of threw him down. Quayle is, of course, landing just monstrous right hooks that are hurting Matsumoto, and that's the key story here. Matsumoto can't find a way not to get in. These guys are, are just in it for the. There's that jab. See? Jab followed by double jab, uppercut. Matsumoto trying to find a way to hold on right now. Getting the warning. Gene Del Blanco has his hands full in this fight. There is a lot. 
a lot of uh, subplots in terms of rules being slightly bent, and uh, he's got to deal with all of it. Well, now Gene DiBlanco just pushed Jeff Matsumoto. Didn't really mean to. <laughs> That's interesting. Oh, and that's kind of big, a big power punch on the inside for Cueo. Will this do it? That's a mo No, he's going to stop it. Gene DeBlanco's going to stop it now. I mean, after all, he just had hit breaking the fighters up. He accidentally shoved Matsumoto down. And Cueo pounced. Two shots on the inside, and it's enough. Well, um, in top ten reasons, top ten reasons. <laughs> Pagsapit ng ikapat na round, tuluyan ng natapos ang kanilang bakbakan na kung saan nagtagumpay ang ating Pinoy ng isang technical knockout na ibawi din ni Quelio ang ating mga kababayan at nakuha rin ito ang bakanting WBC International minimum weight title.